Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. My name is Kieran Tross and I'm happy to be with you today. Thank you for spending your time out of your busy day with me. Uh, today we are continuing with the Azure Sentinel series. This is part five where I will be going through uh, assigning roles uh, so this way you can uh, work within your with the Azure Sentinel that you have within your environment. So what we have on the screen right now, we are in the Azure portal. Um, if you have been following with the series, uh, we talked a little bit about, you know, what is Azure Sentinel, got into deploying Azure Sentinel in your environment. Um, and today, right where we're with this video is going to focus on the roles within Azure Sentinel. All right, so what we have on the screen right now is PowerPoint uh, slide. I, I, I went through this slide, I believe, in part three or part four, uh, where I was talking about the best practices for uh, Azure Sentinel. Uh, but you know, in this slide, I just want to kind of bring it back up because it says create a resource group that's dedicated to Microsoft Sentinel and the resources that Microsoft Sentinel uses include a log analytics workspace, any playbooks, workbooks, and so on and so forth. So remember, we created a resource group and we uh, threw Azure Sentinel in that resource group. So what we want to do is we want to now apply the um, correct uh, privileges to that resource group. So this way we're staying within the scope of our resources. So this way, you know, individuals don't have access outside of that scope and you're given those permissions only within that resource group. So what we're going to do here back over the Azure portals, I'm going to go to resource group and you can come up here to the top and you can look for your resource group and the resource group that we use for Azure Sentinel was this RG prod use. Uh, so here you see we have only a few things within this resource group. We have a log analyst workspace and we have our solution, our, our Sentinel workspace. So what I want to do is I want to come over here to access control IM and over here you can click view my access and you see that your access rights. Um, you can go to role assignments. We can see the different role assignments that I have within this description here. Um, and then over here where we have roles is, you know, this is where you have all your different roles within your environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to add and I'm going to say add role assignment. Now over here at role assignment, what we want to do is we want to come down here and if you type in Microsoft Sentinel, you'll get all the roles for Microsoft Sentinel. So switching over to the PowerPoint slide, what I want to do is I just wanted to talk a little bit about these roles. So you have an understanding of the roles that you're given out. Because remember, you know, one thing I, I constantly talk about throughout all my videos on YouTube is identity access management, uh, which I spent years as an identity access management consultant and working and managing identities throughout my IT career. And it's extremely important for us all to be implementing least privilege. So least privilege is, you know, given the individual, the R, uh, managed identity or, you know, identity, I should say, the least amount of rights that they need in order to fulfill their job requirements. So here we have our different Sentinel roles. So the first one we have is Microsoft Sentinel Reader. Uh, this is uh, can view data, incidents, workbooks, and other Microsoft Sentinel resources. Then we have Microsoft Sentinel Responder can, in addition to the above, manage incidents, assign, dismiss, etc. And then Sentinel Contributor, as you see, we continue to get even more and more privileges. Can, in addition to the above, install and update solutions from Content Hub, create and edit workbooks, analytic rules, and other Microsoft Sentinel resources. Then we have Playbook Operator, can list, view, and manually run playbooks. And then we have Automation Contributor, allows Microsoft Sentinel to add playbooks to automation rules. It isn't meant for user accounts. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, all right, I want to give Sentinel read rights. And I can go about doing this of multiple different things. So I can go and click a manage identity and then I can go click select members and I can look for my managed identities. I don't think I have any in the organization. See, so yeah, I don't don't because I deleted them recently. So I'm going to go users and groups and I'm just going to find a user that I just want to pick on and say, okay, I'm going to choose and give this user um, access. So I'll just go with my test uh, user one and I'll click accept and okay. So that test user one has access to read. Um, I can click on next and this is review what you're going going through and then we see review and assign. So if I come down here and I see Microsoft Sentinel right here and it says test user one. So that's how you go about assigning privileges for your uh, Microsoft Sentinel um, 
organization. Uh, you can do it a little bit different other different ways. I believe uh, you, if you go into your Sentinel, uh, you should be able to get it right there. But one of the reasons why I would recommend doing it this way uh, rather than, you know, kind of going to that resource and, and giving those rights is because um, it's just it's just a better way of managing it. You know, one of the things that's recommended for Microsoft is, OK, let's make sure that the whole resource group has all of the Sentinel stuff that's associated with that Sentinel. So this way, when you're given those permissions, you're given those permissions so that this way that they can navigate and operate effectively uh, for their uh, Sentinel instance within your environment. So uh, that is the end of this video uh, when it comes to um, assigning uh, roles for your Azure Sentinel uh, instance within your organization. I hope the information I provided you was beneficial. Uh, please continue to watch this series. I'm having a really great time providing you this information. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. Or is there something particular that you want me to call out within Sentinel? Um, I've had people reach out to me and ask questions and I've literally made a video just to help out. So as I've said in the many, many videos I have, I just want to build a community and help individuals out. So this way you can get better within you know your career and your growth. So this way you can get a better job or even get into IT as well. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. Uh, once again, my name is Kieran Shraws. And my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.